Hello, how's it going guys? Thank you for watching for this video. I want to share with you guys one of my go-to snacks. I've actually talked about this snack on some of my vlogs, but I wanted to do a standalone video on these because uh, unless you're around an um, Asian culture or you have uh, Asian friends, you might not be aware of this uh, particular snack. In case you didn't know, my wife is Japanese, so I got introduced to Asian foods uh, back in the day. And uh, one of my favorites so far is nori, which uh, for some reason they have it in the Japanese and the Korean uh, culture. But the Korean nori is probably known the most uh, because they're seasoned and so you can eat them uh, by themselves. This particular one that I have here is from Costco. I'm assuming that if they have it here, they might have it in the Costco's around the US or even internationally, I'm not too sure. But I buy these because they're the cheapest that I've been able to find uh, for the size. If you go to any particular supermarket, and you buy them from there, uh, they're pretty cheap, they're like a dollar, but they're really small packages and they go like that. I like this because you can sneak one of these into the movie theater and then it's almost like eating chips, it's really good. It's way better than kale chips, without a doubt. So before I open them up, let me go over the nutritional facts. This package right here has five servings. So all the numbers that I'm about to say, just multiply them by five. So it has 20 calories, has a 1.5 grams of fat, zero carbs, which is the best thing ever, and then one gram of protein. If you look at the ingredients, it's just seaweed, sunflower oil, uh, sesame oil, and sea salt. Really plain, simple, to the point. I remember, I was introduced to Asian culture, so when I found out about uh, seaweed, nori, I wasn't super excited about it. It didn't really sound appetizing to me until somebody made me try the Korean nori and then I realized, oh, this is actually pretty good. So if you're hesitant to try seaweed because it's not something that you're accustomed to eating, I would suggest you give it a try just once and go to the supermarket to get those small packets. They're around a dollar, so if you don't like them, you can just dump them or give them to somebody else. But it's definitely worth trying it because if you do enjoy them, it's gonna be another item, another thing that you can have uh, as an alternative to eating chips or cookies or any other, you know, uh, high carb uh, snacks. Okay, so let me get into these. Mm. Obviously, it smells like seaweed. If you're not familiar with how seaweed smells, it uh, smells like the ocean. So, I'm not really a big fan of seafood, but there is some seafood that I like, shrimps and fish and all that. Uh, oh, I guess fish. <laughs> One thing you notice is really thin. Uh, you can see some of the spices, so like salt, and in fact, some of the oils you can see on here. The crunch is really nice. The flavor is excellent. I love the flavor. Really salty, as I mentioned in a lot of my videos. I do enjoy crunchy, salty snacks, so this is why uh, Nori is one of my go-tos. Mm, this is so good. Same taste. Mm. Now I finished a pack like this before and towards the end the flavor starts to get a little bit too much but if I get through half of this package I'm still going to enjoy it. So if you take it to the movie theater, yeah. eat half the package in the beginning and then switch over to like almonds or macadamia nuts and then switch back you shouldn't have a problem with uh, finishing the packet. They enjoy it. They still eat it with rice and like um, and the Japanese natto. Um, but I just enjoy them by themselves. So again, if you're hesitant about trying seaweed, just take my advice, try it, and then that way you'll know if you like it or if you don't. I'm willing to bet that if you try the Korean nori that's seasoned, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it. If you try the seaweed that's made for like the sushi rolls, you might not enjoy that because they're not seasoned like these are. So make sure that it says seasoned or it says Korean uh, seaweed on it. You'll be able to tell the difference right away uh, just by taste alone. And so that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. I got a bunch of videos coming up. Hit that bell so you get notified when those videos are uploaded. Also, if you have any questions about my go-to keto snacks, uh, leave them in the com comment section below. I plan to do a few more videos on my go-to snacks and then I do a bunch of taste taste and then I'm also, taste, taste. I'm also doing a bunch of keto taste test videos in an effort to find more go-to snacks. But for the meantime, let me know if you have any questions on the comment section below and I really appreciate you guys watching. See you guys on the next one. Bye. Bye.